Hey, what's going on? So I guess uh, today's day four of uh, the whiskey tour, right? Um, so today, I, uh, I guess I, I opened up the uh, the Jack Daniels uh, Master Distiller, uh, and this one is uh, Jack Daniels number. Oh, almost knocked this thing over. Jack Daniels number five. Doubt that you guys will be able to find this anywhere. Uh, like literally probably won't find it anywhere unless you go to like uh a duty free and you get really lucky uh this this is the uh the frank thomas uh also known as bobo he was a master distiller there from 1966 to 1988 and uh one of his phrases was uh i'd rather ask for folks patience than their forgiveness now like this dude was up to like perfection like if it wasn't perfect it wasn't happening so uh like i mentioned i think like in the second video i did live in uh in tennessee for about uh probably like four months or 10 weeks whatever that averages out to uh and uh while there i guess that's where really like most of my love for whiskey came from i used to i mean i, I was collecting whiskey before that but that's when i was like this is it you know what i mean like whiskey's my thing um, but anyway, while I was there, I went to a lot of different, uh, distilleries with, uh, a couple of people I was, uh, I was with great people, great folks, great folks. <laughs> uh, anyway, the, uh, what do you call it? I went to the, uh, I had the privilege of going to the, to the Jack Daniels, uh, distillery with a buddy of mine, Julia. Um, uh, and man, it was like, it was amazing just like to see the process that they do, you know, that they, that they make the whiskey and how long it takes. If you've never been to a distillery, I highly, highly recommend it just to, uh, see the process and how, how all that stuff goes down. It, it's nice. And like Jack Daniels itself has a long, um, history of, of, of making whiskey. Even like, I think if I remember correctly, even during prohibition, like they were one of the only places who were like, we're still to, able to, to make whiskey. It was something about like the land that, that they're on or, or whatnot. Uh, but it's, it's mind blowing. Um, but yeah, uh, like, uh, I'm gonna be honest, like Jack Daniels isn't like my favorite go-to whiskey, but it, it's like, it's the most accessible and most affordable, right? Let's be real. Like who, every time you go to a liquor store, you see people buying, buying Jack Daniels. Uh, it, it was just fine. Nothing, not knocking Jack. I, Jack Daniels is fine. I, uh, I've uh, I've had several. I've never had this one. Uh, the number seven is, you know, classic number seven. I, I think that's my favorite. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, this is the uh, this is the bottle. It's the the mass uh, well the the box. Sorry. Uh, and then, as you know, limited edition, which I said like you probably not gonna find this. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is just the, the back of the bottle. Uh, I know, like, Richie, one of my buddies here locally, like, he would love this. And you know, who knows, maybe if the world doesn't end, we can uh, uh, have some of this, right? Oh, so when you uh, when you go to the distillery, you get to taste a, a lot of the different Jack Daniels. It's, a little, it's, it's so affordable to go. It's like 25 bucks to go. You taste, like, five or six different, uh, different uh, Jacks. And then you get to keep the glass at, at the end. Um, this is the number seven glass. And then, uh, oh, if, matter of fact, I'll tell you guys a story. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me read this first. So the uh, Jack Daniels' is, uh, slogan or, or whatever his motto was, every day we make it, we'll make it the best we can. Like, that, they're about making, like, perfect whiskey. Like, it has to be perfect, right? Which is great, dude. I wish uh, every other company that made products and stuff like that were to have the same idea. But a uh, funny story about Jack Daniels, and I know my boss probably gonna gonna see this and probably gonna laugh. But hey, man, like Jack Daniels, like you know he was making making whiskey all the time and so much money and and all that other stuff. But he was so dedicated to his job that on a day that he wasn't supposed to go to work. He went to work and he went to uh to like get something off the out the safe or whatever and I forget exactly how it happened but he injured his his toe while opening the uh 
the safe. And then he's like, oh, whatever, I'll, I'll take care of it later. I'll take care of it later. Um, and then that that toe ended up getting infected, and that's how he ended up dying. So a little story about Jack Daniels for those of you that, that didn't know. At least that's what they told us in the tour, which, why would they lie, right? But um, anyway, yeah, so, hey, work's always going to be there. Like, that's 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 the moral of the story. Like, work's always going to be there, like, Enjoy yourself, take care of yourself and your family. But all right, let's do this whiskey thing. We're like five five minutes into this. Man, it smells so good. Like, I wish that you guys can smell this. It's so good. It's good. Like, you definitely know that you're drinking Jack. But this is like a, a, a special Jack. I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you have tried Jack. This is like a really, really good Jack. It's like, fuck. <laughs> it sucks that like I'm never going to get this bottle again, right? But this is really good. It's it's definitely a a sipper. It's it's like you can you can fucking taste Tennessee in this whiskey. Like, that's how good it is. And if you've never been to Tennessee, I highly recommend it. Uh, but shit, this is good. Uh, really, really good, actually. Uh, but I guess uh, I guess that's it. Hey, remember, there's no such thing as a bad whiskey. And drink whiskey how you want to drink it. Uh, drink whiskey with, you know, with yourself, your friends or whatever, right? It's, let's... Uh, Let's enjoy some whiskey together one day if the world doesn't end. And uh, let's, hey, let's keep kicking ass. America first. Good night.